Hello, in this video we're going to find the firm's short run average cost from the following production function. Here's the firm's production function. It is a function of units of labor L and units of capital K. The input prices for labor and capital are $2 and $1 respectively. We want to find the short run average total cost assuming capital K is fixed at 4 units. First thing we'll do is for K we're going to plug in 4 and then take the square root of that and we get this result. Now I want to solve this production function, the short run production function for L units of labor. So I'm going to take the square root of both sides to get rid of this exponent over here. So after taking the square root of both sides we get this result. Moving 2 over to the other side and now I'm going to square both sides. We want to get rid of this L to the one-half term, so to get rid of that exponent we're going to square both sides and we get this result here. Next step is to set up the short run total cost function which is the wage times units of labor plus the price of capital times the fixed units of capital. And here are our input prices and K again is fixed at 4. Making our substitutions and for W, 2 and for R we plug in 1 and K we're plugging in 4. The next step is we're going to take that result from the first slide and where we have L here we're going to replace that with this term here. So making that substitution we now have our short run total cost and here's our short run total cost equation when Q is greater than 4. If Q is less than or equal to 4 short run total cost will just simply equal four four dollars. In terms of average total cost if Q is greater than four we're going to take this short run total cost equation and divide it through by Q to get average total cost. So doing that we get this result and then if Q is less than or equal to four if the quantity of the firm's output is less than or equal to four the firm's average total cost is just going to be 4 divided by Q, the short run total cost divided by quantity. Now so there's no confusion as to why I'm breaking the short run total cost up into units of output greater than 4 or less than equal to 4. Consider the following. So take this short run total cost and if Q is 1, so just plugging 1 into this equation, short run total cost is $6. If we plug 2 into this equation, short run total cost is four dollars and sixty nine cents so this is kind of strange we're producing more output and the total cost of production is falling if Q equals four plugging that into this production function short run total cost equals four dollars so again this is kind of strange behavior that over the early stages of production as we're producing more output short run total cost is actually falling so that's why we're going to say that this short run total cost equation only applies when Q is greater than 4 and if Q is less than or equal to 4 short run total cost is just going to be constant at $4. Okay that's it. 